All right. Let's get this uh, show on the road. As a recap, last time we were uh, we just unlocked the uh, the troll uh, storyline for our little uh, our kingdom. I'm just looking over my stuff. I have a few things I can vendor. I have some cash to spend too. Let's go shopping in town. Well, actually, I'm gonna go double check and make look at my kingdom stuff. I can't remember exactly what I did last time, but. I'm pretty sure I must have done something, or I can't remember if I did stuff and didn't do, or didn't do stuff. I don't know. It's been a bit. So let's go check some shit, some shenanigans out, and see what's happening. I just want to make sure all my dudes are doing something, and that any project I can do is being done. Could I send someone to do this? Nope. Okay. All right. Cool. Nothing I can do. So let's get out of here. I bl actually, oh, I, pff, I'm an idiot, sorry. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else I can do when it regards to building these places up. I think I've built every building I can though now. Yeah, so this is all built up. There's nothing else I can build. I had never gotten far if I kind of upgrade from, from beyond just being a village. Oh, okay, okay, I need another village. To, I need a third village to upgrade one of them into a town. That makes sense, okay. And let me just check up north to my other village. Up here? Of Velferon? Looks like everything is still being built there. That looks like a full situation of stuff. Okay, cool, let's go. Got all that sorted. Got all that dealt with. Let's go on an adventure. I want to, uh... uh let me check my... I'll check my quest once I do a bit of shopping. Or do I'm walking. I'm looking at these ones. So I can go there, but spoiler, every time I go in there, I didn't know what to do and I died. So I'm just not going to bother with that for now. Alright, so we completed that. So our only quest is to find the troll lair. We'll do that, and we'll do some exploring along the way. But for now, we're going to the main square. I forgot how dreary the music is when you're evil. This is what happens when you only play good aligned characters and you get this music in because you're evil. Mm. I know that emerald's important. Oh, those aren't gems, those are cooking? Okay, okay. So I have 7k gold. Do you want to sell these wands? One of magic missile is kind of useful. One of acid arrow will be useful too. For I would need to kill trolls. Like this is really useful. To be honest, I'm never gonna use these like scrolls. Scroll of Bane is useful, and so is cure serious wounds. Divine favor, not so much. Enlarge person, I don't like that spell. I find enlarging yourself is usually a debuff, more than it is a buff. Unless all you care about is damage, of course. If you want to just do the big dick damage, then you just enlarge first and don't care. So, how much do I actually value 12 uses of Acid Arrow? It's 2d4 damage and a bunch more dot damage on top of that. <sighs> Tough choice, because I don't... I don't really value wands too much in these kind of games, right? Unless they're wands with, like, crowd control spells. I love wands with crowd control spells. But wands with, like... Just damage spells? I don't really value them very much because I won't, I'll forget about them. But I know they... 
I think Aster is useful. I'm not too sold on Magic Missile. If we were playing Baldur's Gate, I'd keep the, I'd value this one Magic Missile very highly because in Baldur's Gate you can like use it to hurt people. But in this game, you really can't. So I'm gonna sell the one of Magic Missile, but I'll keep Acid Arrow because Acid Arrow is actually a decent spell, whereas Magic Missile at CL CL three. Let's see, that's two missiles. That's 2d4 plus 2, and then this one would deal, this is 3, so it's 2d4 points of ass damage, so same damage. I'm trying to read Splimfo. <laughs> Okay, and if it hits, so there's 3-4 damage, and then did the CL3, so it's 2d4. Does that mean it has a base of two, of one round, of one extra round, or, or what? I think it would last, it would do 4d4 total damage per acid arrow if it hits. Versus, so this is guaranteed. Maybe they're both. You don't. Well, just use both of them. I've decided I'm gonna keep both of them. I'm gonna use every single charge and feel good about it. So I'm a bit too poor to afford anything here. But the only thing I'd really want right now is the Flame Guard Tower Shield because it's really Check it's a really good upgrade for Valerie. But we might antagonize Valerie to leave our party by us being evil on. Evil scumbag. So she's not good aligned. She's lawful neutral. So she should be okay with most of our shenanigans. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's go. We got what we want. Though there is one person we can potentially recruit, who I hopefully get. Uh, he's along the way to the the troll lair. And if we can save his cart, we can recruit him earlier on than normal. And the reason I want him is because he's an alchemist, and we could re use an alchemist or really anyone with some good aoe and an alchemist is a cheap way to get real good aoe in fact if i don't get him what i might do is i might just buy an alchemist like with <laughs> because uh this party is good at single target damage but it has no aoe oh let's equip those wands so I, can't, I already have a wand of cure moderate wounds equipped. Okay, I should remember I have that. That's useful. Uh, maybe I want to give that to her. No, I'll hold on to it. Am I? You know what? Maybe. Uh, what wand do you have? Wand of that's really useful. Okay. So I'll give you acid arrow. You can't use any of these wands, and then I'll hold on to magic missile. And I'll try and remember I have them more often to throw them out there and add some damage where needed. Oh yeah, here's the you encounter. Stand against me. Tear them apart! The game is a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn down the volume a smidgen. Uh yeah, let's turn on the music volume. I did something weird, that's right. Or maybe... I'll put that like 15%. This should do it. A calculator. But yeah, our party has great single target damage, but it has no area of effect besides our CC. Nice haste spell, asshole. We will be victorious. They go down. I'm not too afraid of hasted kobolds, but they're like a little bit scary. I'm just 
scared enough that I will uh, grease the ones in the back. Okay, so we have to try and save this cart. I'm not I'm not gonna save scum it, even though I totally could. I missed uh, I'm not gonna read this, but uh I'll leave it on this screen in case you want to like pause it or some shit and read it, because basically we gotta save the cart. Choose a character. Uh, our best character for this is you, because you have the highest overall of mobility and lower nature. We failed lower nature, but we succeeded in a mobility check. Oh, my character's fairly charismatic. So let's try the charisma check. Hey, we did it. Easy every time. All right, before we talk to him, uh, since we're going to be recruiting him, he is basically a better version of Lindsay. So we're just going to strip Lindsay down of all of her worthwhile belongings. Normally, I don't like taking stripping things, stripping characters down like this. But since this guy uses literally the same gear she does, I'm just you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm stripping her down. Tubulus Nartropple, at your grace's service. Your help with these kobolds and my almost drowned cart was timely indeed. By the way, it's a shame no one organized It is a not party dirty. It is just a, person as myself a uh, your recalibration capital. of the equipment. I wasn't expecting a red carpet covered with rose petals, but you could at least have sent ahead some delegation. Oh, at least some of my servants are still alive. Do you know how much it costs to train a proper servant? Also, while I'm on that, I'd like to make an official announcement. The roads in your barony are in terrible condition. People must search for wading fords to cross the rivers because no one had bothered themselves with building bridges, and honest travelers have to take the risk of being attacked by kobolds at any moment. So what did you say your barony was called? Well, whatever, never mind. When I draw the map of these lands, I will call them maybe local baroness will help. I guess it's a fitting name. You think too highly of yourself, Sir Gnome. Behave with some dignity while you're on these lands. Oh, I see. The very spirit of knighthood embodied. So, what do you propose me to do, Sir Knight? Should I lie? By no means. But you shall not be so blunt. I bid you to express your opinion in a more courteous form. Your problem, Sir Knight, is that you worry too much about form and appearance. Unsurprisingly so, considering your pretty face. As for me, I worry solely about the content. My party and I set up camp at the bank of this river. We'd just finished kindling the fire when that purple bastard appeared. Oh, well, it's nice seeing you around. You know what he told How me? How you been doing? He introduced himself as the king of the kobolds and told me he needed our clothes because he wanted to dress his subjects properly, you see, as long as they've established the kingdom of their own. That's literally what he said. I wonder where did he learn the words? Obviously, I told him to buzz off. Some kobold wants to strut around wearing the clothes of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartropple. Uh, no way. So I've been Fair explaining enough. my position to him, being rather eloquent too, suggesting he and his so-called kingdom might as well fall into the deepest sinkhole. But in the meantime, I've noticed that kobolds have already started to untie my cart. Well, I called my men to keep the cart safe. They couldn't guess what to do on their own, just stood there with their mouths ajar. Then things heated up as the fighting started, and while we were fighting, the ponies dragged the cart to the river. Ah, stupid animal. Yeah, people can be 
annoying to deal with when they do dumb stuff. Case of total ignorance. The latter, but yeah, I hope. I'm happy to hear you better, though. famous as a traveler, a cartographer, an alchemist, and a journalist. The students of all the major universities study the world using my maps. My articles for different journals are well known everywhere from Andorran to Brevoy. You've definitely read some issues of National Alchemy, haven't you? Culinary Almanac of the Inner Sea? Or the most scandalous one, the Independence, describing benefits and drawbacks of governments and regimes in different states? Didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't want to spoil my impression of your barony. It's spoiled enough already. It would be hard for me to write at least something positive otherwise. Wait, the Jubilas Narthrapple? Author of the 14 and a half eulogies to Pitex? Oh my, every student in the Academy of Grand Arts devoured your books, especially after King Aravetti See you around. Them, tried Have you a good one. and sentenced you to death. Hmm, hmm, I see at least someone in this shabby barony has at least a rudimentary education. Even if they got them in such a dubious establishment as the Pitax Academy of Grand Arts. <laughs> I was expelled for irreverence. Ah, is this so? Well, if it is true, then you just might not be beyond hope. Hold on, wait a moment. There is one thing you can help me with. You see, long ago there was a dwarven trade route crossing these lands. It connected Five Kings Mountains and the North. The route was so important to the dwarves that they were generous enough to set a number of outposts along it, manned with armed guardians to provide protection for the traders. One of these outposts must be somewhere nearby, lost and completely forsaken, but nothing can avoid the watchful eye of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartruppel. I will find this outpost and I will mark its location on the map. You can trust me on that. Well, you proved to be a capable companion in a case of emergency. I guess I can entrust you with covering my back. Let's go. I will send someone for my cart later. So, if we didn't save his cart, he wouldn't join us here. But since we saved his cart, he will join us here. So we're going to ditch Lindsay and take him. Because although I like Lindsay as a character, uh, this guy is way better for us as a party. Because he is an alchemist. So he's wearing like some magical armor, leather armor plus one, you know, chain shirt. Enjoy it. Wait, it's, is it the same or is it better? Let's check. It is one AC better, so enjoy. Uh, he has a heavy cross plus one. Didn't know that. Guess I'll go back to Lindsay later. But other than that, he's naked. So let's give him these these items to make him better. He can also use wands, which is useful. So I'm not entirely sure what bombs he has for an alchemist. Let's double check. We can see his abilities. Uh, looks he's an acid bomb, which are good enough for what we're doing here. Yeah, acid bomb. Yeah, okay, his abilities seem fine enough for now. Cool, let's get out of here. So he's gonna be very useful because, like I said earlier, our big weakness in this party was no AoE, and now we have the class that is all AoE. Uh, his mutagen ability is useful too. There's some ponies, we can talk to them, I guess. The path is clear. So with him in our group, we're gonna have the ability to actually murder groups of people and not feel so bad about it. And yeah. Uh, one thing I don't think he has is the ad mixture where he can give his uh, other is like quote unquote spells to his allies, but that is beside the point. So we are heading off towards the Hodag layer, or is it like the swamp? I don't think it's on the map yet. I know it's around this area. So let's head in this area, clear the way. I want to explore a bit as well, so I think I'm going to go down to this bandit camp up to this tower and stuff. You know, the good stuff. Enjoy the sights. See what the world has to offer us. I'll go ahead.
problem resolution. There's a lot of ways you can solve that. Uh, you, if you want to befriend the Fae, you can like buy Tree Feather Tokens or convince the asshole to do it, but... Alright, let's see how many use of bombs does he have. Nine? That's pretty good. And what spell does he have right now? He's got Cat's Grace, Echo's Retreat, Shield, True Strike. Let me just double check this. Alright, you can only use it on himself. Okay, cool. Let us strike as one! <laughs> It's good that they give him acid bomb just so he can always make like harm the trolls you're at the fight in this area because about three quarters of them are immune to fire or resistant to it at the very least. So it's very uh it's good that he has that. Though his spells aren't the greatest. He can't cast anything besides spells in himself. Uh right now. Later on up the ad make sure he can cast spells on other people. So once he gets that, which I think might be next level actually, he'll be a bit more useful. Well, let's explore up the Skunk River and let's get up to this Tranquil River Bend. I don't think last time we could go there because of the fog, but we can go there now. Ooh, the Dragon Token. I believe the kind of token that plops down is an indication of the kind of encounter you're about to find. Unworthy. These are troll hounds. Oh, he can't like indirectly target it. I hope he has the thing where he doesn't hurt for my eyes with this, but we'll find out real quick. But yeah, and the bombs just deal loads of damage. It doesn't look like he harms his allies with them, so that's good. Uh, let's just acid splash. Let's turn the offer now for the attacks. Open. And to the sheer ground sample, we're saving a cat. I don't know, from my experience, drummer cats are assholes, so. But whatever you say, cat creature thing. Alright, I'm thinking here, let's get out of here. The path is clear. I tire. Alright, let's uh, manage our roles real quick because we lost Lindsay, so let's see. Right now, I'm doing the cooking, but he's really good at cooking, so he should be doing it. I think we should be like that. I don't think it doesn't matter, actually. What's his special ability? I'm just gonna look at it to see what it does. Oh, that's not very useful. I don't care about that. I'd rather get the bonus to AC. Alright, cool. Why do you need such a huge sword? Have you ever considered that you might be compensating for something? You want to see the view from on top of it? Oh. <laughs> I rested there to explore, but didn't actually explore. Let's do that real quick. Let's actually check this place out real quick. Let's see what's around here. Our victory is Lots of tats of worms. Not that many. Do not falter. There's not enough of these guys to tell we want to waste my AoE on them. It's one of those things where I deal so much single target damage that I just kind of rip through them real quick. What's that? 
Uh, where did I speed? Or is it the trap? It's the trap, okay. You see that? Easy. Free magic spear. I like free magic spears. <clears throat> A trivial matter. And then lots of free loot. I like free loot. Alright, let's skedaddle out of here. Oh, can I go out the way I came? No, I cannot. I gotta go the way. Okay, cool. Let's go up here then. I always hate it when you're playing a game and you can't leave. Oh, it's the lock sack. No. How about this one? Nope. So I've been getting these recipes. I'd like consume them to learn them. Because I have them. Yeah, and I could make some of them. Oh, I got a copy recipe. That's probably it. I want to actually use these, so let's just copy all of them and consume them. Because they give different buffs, and I might want to experiment with those different buffs for we'll do it the different way. situations. And who doesn't like buffs? I like buffs. Let's see what's up here in this so-called tranquil riverbend. Well, there's some tents and a dead troll, so that's a good sign. Oh, sorry, he's a bulgur. And flaming nunchucks. What the fuck, weeb ass Bushido place is this? All right, these guys are actually serious puns. Looks like. I think the acid bomb is just better than the other bombs, so I'm just going to let's find out if he has the the good bombs or if I gotta be careful. Uh, I don't think I should rage for this, but I might want to like, I don't know, let's uh, let's summon a creature out there and, you know, get some flanking. Okay, he definitely has the good bombs. That's good to know. Let's try this way. When possible, we should always charge for bonuses. It's definitely worth using bombs on these guys because they have a fair amount of health. So it seems one per little group here. It's not quite worth using them, probably, because I kill the one that has a lot of health so fast that. Uh, Time to get some rest, isn't it? The, yeah. This urban doesn't seem so tranquil. These guys got fucked. Like, what makes it so tranquil? Maybe it's the actual river itself. No clue, but this place seems really inhospitable. Let us be careful. But whatever, I'll take the treasure. Onward! I'm listening. To victory! Mr. 